Besides just showing off some of the awesome things you can do in home automation, we're using the Maker Faire display to demonstrate a few different wiring situations that have come up in questions and comments, including another way to use a Sonoff to do a three-way switch, and what to do if you look in your switch box and all you see are the two wires that are going to the switch. Can you still use a Sonoff? And how? So here it comes. First, let's look at a light switch wiring situation that came up in my first Sonoff as a light switch video. When I was explaining different possible wiring arrangements that you might find in your switch box, the first one I showed was where all you have in your switch box are the two wires that go to the switch. If you could see inside your walls, you'd see something like this. What's happening here is the power from the circuit breaker is going to the light box instead of the switch box. And all that's going to the switch box is the hot wire. The problem here is there's no neutral wire, so there's no way to power the ESP chip. That doesn't mean you can't make it a smart switch. It just means the Sonoff can't go in the switch box. If you really want to make this a smart switch, you need to put the brains, or the Sonoff, at the source of the power, which in this case is going to be up near the lights. It's really pretty simple. The wires from the circuit breaker go to the input side of the Sonoff. The wires going to the light go to the output side of the Sonoff. And then the wires going to the switch are connected to GPIO 14 and ground. I soldered in a couple of tiny wires because those GPIO pins are so small. And then just used a wire nut to connect the tiny wires to the big wires that are going to the switch. The rest of the setup, including flashing the Sonoff with Tasmoda and setting it up in Home Assistant, are the same. Here it is, our Maker Faire display wall. We've got five different lights and what? One, two, three, four, five, six different light switches, plus a couple Sonoffs down there. This next switch here is the example of having only wires from the light to the switch. If we go around the back, if you look at this switch box, the only wires going into this switch box are these two right here. That's it. So there's no power going to this switch box, but one Romex with two wires in it. Follow that up. Of course, there's no switch box here, right? To make it easier to see. But what we've done is connected the power, which would be from the breaker, to the input side of the Sonoff. This image makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Wires from the circuit breaker go to the input side of the Sonoff. Wires going to the light come from the output side of the Sonoff. And then wires from GPIO 14 and ground go to the two wires that are heading down to the switch box and connecting to the switch. That's it. When all you have in your switch box are the two wires connecting to the switch, this is how you can use a Sonoff. And just to demonstrate that it works, ouch, that's bright. If you're gonna do this, I suggest you leave a note in the switch box, letting anybody who gets in there after you know what you've done. So that when they see those big wires, they know that they're just low voltage. That's just a friendly thing to do. Now you'll be able to control these lights from Home Assistant or from the light switch. That's another common question that I can answer with this example. The question usually goes something like this. If I flip the switch on the wall, then turn the lights on with Home Assistant, do I have to turn them back off again before the switch on the wall will work? The good news is, the answer is no. A Sonoff with a switch connected to GPIO 14 works just like a three-way switch. That is, it doesn't matter which method you use to toggle the light. The next method you use, whether it's the physical switch or the virtual home assistant switch, will toggle the light into the other state. So you turn it off in home assistant, you can still turn it on at the wall, or you can just turn it on and off at the wall, or you can just turn it on and off in home assistant. It works just like you would hope that it would. That's actually a nice segue into the next wiring situation that I want to demonstrate. And that is another way to do a three-way switch. In the other three-way switch video that I did, I used one Sonoff in one switch box to control the lights, just like you would in any single switch situation. Then I added Sonoffs in my other three-way switch boxes, but I didn't connect them to the lights. All they do is send an MQTT message 
which tells the first Sonoff to turn the lights on or off. So all of the three-way switching actually happens in Home Assistant, not with physical three-way switches. It works great, but as my buddy Sissix pointed out, there is another way to do it that only requires one Sonoff. He's made a video about it too. You can check it out here. In all likelihood, you didn't build your house, so you probably don't know how all the wiring was done exactly. There are a lot of different ways that someone could have wired your three-way switch. So far, this website has had the best explanations that I've found for all the different three-way switch wiring scenarios. The scenario we're gonna look at here is the situation where you have power coming from the circuit breaker into one switch box. You have two wires coming out of that same switch box that are going to the lights. And then you have a bundle of three wires that are going from that same switch box to the other switch or switches that are controlling those same lights. So it looks something like this. In this situation, you only need one Sonoff. And best of all, you don't even have to open the other switch boxes at all. All you have to do to include the Sonoff in this circuit is take the wires from the circuit breaker and put them on the input side of the Sonoff, the wires that are going to the lights and put them on the output side of the Sonoff. Then remove the wire from the black screw on the three-way switch. Take a wire from GPIO 14, connect it to that black screw. Then take a wire from the ground pin on the Sonoff and connect it to the wire that you took off of the black screw. It helped me at least to visualize what's going on inside the switches in order to really understand how a three-way switch works. So here's a diagram for you. What you've got in each three-way switch is a common and two switch poles. If both switches are on the same pole, the light will be on. But if one of them gets switched to the opposite pole, the light will go off. And then when the other switch goes to the other pole, or when the first switch goes back to the first pole, the lights come back on. Now this one here is the three-way switch. So this is the one we've been talking about. We left this open so you could see the sewn off. These are just regular three-way switches. This one is connected with this one over here. So when we turn one of these on, the light comes on. I can turn this one off and the light goes off. I can also get in Home Assistant and hit the three-way button and the light goes on. That's one Sonoff with GPIO 14 connected to the common pole of the three-way switch. And the connection between those two three-way switches, I didn't touch. That's pretty cool, right? Well, that's all for now. I just wanted to show you a couple of the things we're doing for the Maker Fair and how we're using it to answer some of the common questions that I've been getting from other videos. Hopefully that was helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.